So here's an example to show you how to find out where a graph crosses the x or y axis or touches the x axis. So the example graph in this video is y equals x minus 2 times x plus 3 squared. And to find out where it crosses the x axis, we need to find out where on this graph y is equal to 0, because when y is equal to 0 on the graph, the graph is actually on the x-axis. If y was bigger than 0, it would be above the x-axis. If it was less, it would be below it. But when y is equal to 0 on the graph, that means the graph is on the x-axis. So let's find out when that happens by putting y equals 0 into the equation of our graph, which basically means put y equals 0 over there, and so you get this equation here. And to solve this equation, you do the usual method when you're factorising, basically making each of these brackets equal to 0. So making this bracket equal to 0 gives you x equals 2, and making this bracket equal to 0 gives you x equals minus 3. But that actually happens twice, because x plus 3 squared means you've got x plus 3 times x plus 3. So you've got two of these brackets, and when you make each of those brackets equal to 0, you're going to get x equals minus 3 twice. So, basically, that tells you that the graph crosses the x-axis at 2 and at minus 3 twice. So it crosses the x-axis at 2 and crosses the x-axis at minus 3 twice. That just basically means it's touching the x-axis, not really crossing it, is it? It's going, it's hitting the x-axis at minus 3 and hitting it again at minus 3. It's a bit weird, but that basically means it's touching the x-axis at minus 3. So we found out where it crosses the x-axis and where it touches the x-axis. We just need to find out where it crosses the y-axis now. So to do that, instead of putting y equals 0 into the equation like we did to find out where it crosses or touches the x-axis, we need to put x equals 0 into the equation of our graph. Um, and so let's do that. So put x equals 0 into the equation of a graph. And that, by the way, the reason why we put x equals 0 into the equation of a graph is because at that point, you're going to be on the y-axis. Your graph is going to be on the y-axis. So putting x equals 0 there gives you, you know, 0 minus 2 and 0 plus 3 squared, so minus 2 times 9, basically, which is minus 18. So your graph crosses the y-axis at minus 18.